Under the Jurassic Sea, an ammonite dies. It falls to the bottom of the sea and is lucky enough not to be eaten by an ichthyosaur or a plesiosaur. Instead, the soft part of its body rots away, leaving just its shell behind. Over many, many years, the shell is covered by layers of sediment. Sediment is a material like dirt and sand that is moved around by forces like wind and water. The layers of sediment press down and gradually become so squashed that they turn to stone. Water seeps in through the rock and dissolves the shell. This means that the shell turns to liquid and very slowly washes away with the water back through the rock. At the same time, minerals from the water are left behind, filling the space where the shell used to be like a mould. These minerals slowly become hard and this is what forms the fossil. Over millions of years, the layers of sedimentary rock are worn away by forces like wind and water. This is called erosion. The eroding rock brings the fossil even closer to the surface, which makes it easier for people to find. This ammonite fossil is now ready to be found. What will it tell us about the past? I'm now going to show you a really simple experiment which helps sort of really bring to life exactly how fossils are formed and it's something that doesn't take millions of years as real fossils do. All it requires is a sand tub and a shell and some plaster of Paris. What you do is you press the shell down into the sand in your tub and if you imagine this is a bit like sea creature dying and falling to the bottom of the sea. So imagine this is like a curly ammonite shell. It's fallen to the bottom of the sea. It's embedded in the sand at the bottom. I'm just going to push that bit up there. The soft parts rot away and over many, many years, different layers of sediment build up on top. And then over many, many more years, the sediment is crushed, it's sort of squashed down and down and down, getting harder and harder until there's layers of rock formed over the shell. Through these layers of rock comes water, which sort of dissolves the shell, sort of washes it away. Which is why I'm going to gently remove the shell. So if we imagine that it's underneath layers of sediment, and this is it being washed away by the water coming through, sort of dissolving away. And what is left when we take the shell away is this lovely shell imprint in the sand. But imagine this is under the layers of sediment that's turned to rock, so the sedimentary rock, to use the correct term. Um, it wouldn't be just a sort of flat cast. It would be kind of like a 3D space, like an empty space where the shell used to be. While the water is seeping through the rock and washing the shell away, it's also leaving behind minerals in the empty space where the shell used to be. And these minerals build up and up and up until they completely fill the space and take the shape of the shell that existed before. So standing in the water and minerals in this experiment, I've got a plaster of Paris mix. And I'm going to very gently, ha ha ha, pour into the shape that's been left by the shell. Slowly does it, slowly does it. Ooh. It has spilt, but I've been sensible this time and I've already tried this experiment and I know that that doesn't matter. I've left this for just a moment and you can see how, hopefully you can see how, depending on how good the camera is that I'm recording this with, but hopefully you can see how you can almost see the ridges forming from the shell. It's kind of sunken in a little bit. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit more of Plaster of Paris mix on top. There we go. I'm gonna leave this now for about 40 minutes to let the Plaster of Paris set and go nice and hard. So if you imagine in those 40 minutes, that could be millions of years passing while these minerals build up inside the shell cast and go hard. And then millions more years, while well, the sedimentary rock on top is eroded away, sort of worn away by wind and water, right, right down, so that we might be able to find the fossil hidden underneath.
So now it is the moment of truth. We're going to dig out our fossil and see how it looks. So it's covered in sand. And to get this off, I'm just going to dunk it in here and gently clean sand away. You see those bits that I spilt, they broke off as I was pulling it out. So I didn't even have to worry about snapping them. Because they were much thinner because the sand wasn't as deep for them to go in. So there we go. You can look and see how that has formed a beautiful shell cast in a very similar way to how fossils are formed.